All right. Hello, hello, hello to everyone. Um, D. Roy Sama, Certified Princess, Dr. Fizza, Firefly Magic, Luminous Starcy, Gracie, Kayla. How are you all doing on today? I hope everyone is doing well. Okay. <clears throat> I put the timestamp on. So hopefully if anyone has to log off for a second, you'll be able to go back to the timestamp for your um your reading. Okay. So I will be starting with the Roy Sama general messages. Swalena, how are you? Hope everything is well. All right, let's see. D. Roy Samba. Hey, Amma, how are you? Harlem Crystal. You said there was someone before you? I didn't see anyone before you. Okay, if it was, then they'll have to um, check back in or repost their question. All right, so I have all of the questions thus far. Let's see. Joyana, how are you? Welcome back. All right, let's see. D. Roy Sama. D. Roy Sama, I don't know why I, I always get like someone from your past coming back in. Someone wanting to reconnect with you. Someone wants to brush towards you. This person is trying to figure out how they can come in. What to say to you? <laughs> oh, shoot. All the cards that fell. <sighs> All right, let's see. <sighs> Let's see, why is this Ten of Swords here? Strength card, Leo's energy. I'm also getting, thank you, Crystal. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Um, I'm also getting... This could be you like trying to figure out how to stabilize your finances or balance out your finances. Could also be thinking about um, a higher level of commitment as well. With someone you have a strong connection with. I'm still getting someone from the past. This past energy just keeps coming back in. Exactly. That I think that's what it is, Gracie. Because this is like someone from the past. And D. Roy Sama, this is your reading. It's, it's someone that you walked away from. And it's saying you got the moon card here. So this is a, head, a hidden... Um, person or they haven't surfaced yet but someone wants to come back in and I'm getting like they're trying to like work up the strength and courage to come towards you they could be like waiting for the right time trying to figure out what to say <laughs> but that's the energy that, that I have like someone from your past wants to come back in. Could be a Leo, Cancer, or a Pisces. 
I'm getting Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy as well. But that's what I have for you. <laughs> what you say? Miss me with the BS, right? All right, let's see. Certified Princess. Certified Princess. But I feel, I, I believe that's what's going on, Gracie. Because I had someone reach out to me from the woodworks. And I'm like, uh, okay. Actually, it was two people. <laughs> Certified princess. Let's see. Cancer's energy is here. You spent <laughs> kick rocks. <laughs> yeah, like one of the people that reached out to me, I haven't heard from in like four years. And I'm like, uh... Like, I didn't even know that they still had my phone number. So, Certified Princess. I feel like you could have a Cancer coming towards you, an Aries, Gemini, or a Virgo. It looks like you have a new beginning in love here. Something here is moving forward. Someone could be stepping up to the plate. This could be someone that you work with. I'm getting someone that you work with wants to partner up with you or they're manifesting some type of partnership with you. But this person may be in fear that you're going to reject their offer. This person could be a little older than you as well. I'm getting like a, a, I feel an older um, or a mature person. Could be a Leo. But um, someone that's grounded and they're going to want something long-term with you. All right. All right. That's what I have for you, Certified Princess. Don't forget the, um, the timestamps are or will be posted. So if you are a regular person, like you always join in, you can go back and check the time. All right, let's see. Dr. Fizza, general love for Dr. Fizza. <clears throat> Strength card, Leo's energy. The star card. Aquarius energy. Hmm. Got two major arcanas here. I see someone here, Dr. Fizza. I feel like someone here wants to make amends someone wants to work on this union with you or work towards a union with you i see an offer of love here someone wants to partner with you i feel like this person is feeling some type of tension there could have been like some type of dispute 
So if you have someone that um, hasn't been around or this person is kind of like, um, I want to say laid back or they're not taking action towards you. I feel like this person is trying to figure out how, like, I'm seeing a dispute here and they're trying to figure out how to, to work things out or how to heal this situation. You could have walked away from this person or this person could have walked away from you, but they are definitely like wanting to come in to like make peace about this, this argument or disagreement or something. Hey, Jazz. Hey, Vanessa. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to come back in. Mm. The double card and the lover's card is here. This could be someone that placed you in a third-party situation. Or you may tempt this person, like they could be like really attracted to you. I feel like this person is attracted to you. But they are definitely like, if you've been putting them on a back burner or you cut them off or haven't been talking to them, this person is definitely like wanting to overcome that. Like, they want to come in to discuss a, a peaceful resolution or something. Yeah, you got the, the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So, someone wants to come towards you. All right. Let's see. Firefly Magic. How are you? Hope all is well. You're welcome, Dr. Fizzer. Thanks for joining in. Firefly Magic. Let's see. What draw what was he really feeling? Thinking and feeling. Okay. Hey, Jazz. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. All right, let's see. Firefly magic. Let's see. Thinking and feeling. Mr. J. Is his name Mr. J? <laughs> yeah. I feel like Mr. J was feeling a little overwhelmed. That's what I'm getting. I see him feeling a little overwhelmed. Because I feel like, again, it's the job. It doesn't really have anything to do with you. I feel like from what I see, it looks like he worked hard to get to this, this place to, um, and the job. And I just feel like he kind of like made his stamp in his, in his workplace. And I don't see him wanting to mess it up. It's like it has nothing to like do to do with you. But he's definitely like blocking out or trying to um, avoid that temptation. It's like strictly, strictly work, strictly business.
Yeah. That's what I'm getting. Because he doesn't want it to end up like anyone heartbroken or want you to feel uncomfortable. He doesn't want to have to sneak around or anything. So that's what it is. It's not you. It's just that you two work together. It could be like, I don't know if it's his dream job or, but he doesn't want to mess that up for either of you. Yeah. All right. Hey, Jessica. Hi, Luminous Starseed. Let's see what's going on. Messages. General reading. What spirit wants Jessica to know? Pisces to hear from me. Okay. Luminous Starseed. You're welcome, Firefly Magic. Thanks for joining in. Let's see why the Magician card. Why is this Magician card in a reverse? So, Luminous Starseed. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. So, I feel like Spirit wants you to continue to focus on your spiritual growth. Continue to master your craft. Because... It looks like there are people or someone around you that I feel like someone around you is like deceptive or manipulative. This could be someone you talk to all the time and you may feel like this person like wants to see you succeed. But like deep down inside, it looks like someone around you may be a little jealous and you may have to walk away from this person. I also see some type of um some type of celebration here. I don't know. Are you playing? Is someone around you playing in a party? This could be someone like playing in a surprise party or something. It's... I'm seeing something about a party, a surprise party. This could also be, again, because I don't, I know you're not in a relationship, are you? Oh, an upcoming baby shower. Okay. I'm looking at this three of pentacles and this three of cups here. Two of pentacles here. This could also be someone getting attention. I'm, I'm getting someone here getting attention from others. Some type of deceptive energy is around you. You may find out about it unexpectedly that someone is juggling you and someone else.
I'm getting that. And the other storyline is you're working on your spiritual growth, mastering your craft. And once you could have like a friend around you that you 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 think this person is supportive, but they're like they're not. They could be like having some type of hidden jealousy. And you may find out in an unexpected way that someone around you is jealous of you. <clears throat> and that's that's what I have. So just be be aware, be mindful of the people that are around you. I feel like now, like, everything, you said you cut her off already. I had the feeling about her. Okay. Yeah, that's what I saw. Like, someone that you were close to or you are close to, someone around you was jealous. Jealous of your gift. Jealous of your spirit. Jealous that, you know, you want to you wanna grow spiritually. They could have been trying to copy your style as well, I'm hearing. Like, copy... The type of person that you are. Copy your personality. Oh. Okay. Wow. Trying to keep wow. <laughs> That's some weird old stuff right there. <laughs> All right. Gracie. Hey, Gracie. Oh boy. Gracie, don't make me laugh. Let's see. Gracie. <laughs> That kind of like came in slow sideways. So I'm going to leave it sideways. You're welcome, Luminous Star Seed. Thanks for joining in. So Gracie, it looks like you're attracting love, but I I, I see someone coming in with all. You can have two people coming in with the offer, Gracie. <laughs> now I see two people here. And I feel like one person is slow and this other person is 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 fast like they want to move things fast someone here wants something stable and long term i i see someone here younger than you could be a cancer or a pisces You got all kinds of cards coming out. There's going to be someone from your past coming back in as well. Ashana, did I, Asana, did I pronounce that name right? Gracie, I feel like you're going to have a decision in love to make. I see you having a decision between two. Yeah, especially with this high priestess here. It's like, I'm seeing you having to make a decision between two. But I feel like you don't really know which one, which person you want to be with. This could be one person from your past and a new person coming in. One person you're, you're really attracted to and the other person you're not. And there's confusion and conflict behind this this um this decision. Because I feel like the person that you're attracted to is the person that you want to go with, but on the other in the other side, that's why you got this three of swords here coming out sideways. <laughs> on a like one side of your brain is telling you to go to the towards the person you're attracted to, and the other side. 
is someone that you're not attracted to, but you may be thinking about the long term with this person. And it may require you to like take a risk or gamble to, 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 to be with this other person. Like you may have to take a risk to have a long-term commitment with someone that you may not really be attracted to like that. But if you go towards the person that you're attracted to, like you're aware that this person is, um, the relationship is going to be limited. It might just be like a passionate relationship. So, oh my goodness, <laughs> Gracie, why is it that when you find someone, you, you don't be attracted to them, you don't like them, they're too old, oh my goodness. And those be the people that really like you. Or really want something serious. But I don't blame you. Don't settle for something that you don't want. Or if you're not attracted to that person. Because it's definitely not going to work out. <laughs> I literally just had this conversation earlier. About, you know, dealing with people that you're not attracted to. Mm -mm. It never works. You said you're always running and they're chasing. Yes. Okay. Um, let me see. Swelena, your question is up next. What kind of man will I what kind of man will be my next relationship? Hey Star Lover, how are you? You're welcome, Gracie. Thanks for joining in. All right, Sweat Lena. I feel like you could have a Scorpio or an Aries coming your way. I feel like this person is going to, I want to say, they're going to be ready to build with you. I'm seeing someone here ready to build. Because they could be recuperating from a breakup. Yeah, it could be a Gemini as well. I'm seeing some fast-moving energy here. They could live at a distance from you. I'm definitely seeing some type of distance here between you and this person. This could... I don't know if you do online dating, but this could be someone you meet online. Or you meet, like, on a vacation or traveling with this world card here and a fool card. I'm getting distance, journey, but I'm definitely seeing a new beginning here. Gemini, Aries, Scorpio energy. Okay. Yeah, so you have something new coming in. And you got the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone that you're going to meet and you're moving. Like movement. Traveling, vacation. Could be driving. All right, let's see. Alma, we have Alma. Um, who's after Alma? Alma, Kayla, Juliana, and then Crystal. <clears throat> All right, you're welcome. Thank you for joining in. Let's see. Any good news for Ama and May? Any good news for Ama and May? 
Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, you could have an Aries or an Aquarius coming towards you. I do see a new passionate beginning that will require you to take a leap of faith. I feel like it's been a long time coming. Vanessa, you didn't miss your turn. Cancer's energy is here. Oh, I see a wish fulfillment coming your way. Something you've been manifesting or planning for for some time now. I see it coming into fruition or some type of forward movement. So this is um, opening up for a new beginning here, Alma, that will bring in some type of st stability, balance, and success. Okay? Something that you will enjoy. All right, let's see, Kayla. Kayla, I wanna know, do I have any unexpected money? Kayla, any unexpected money for Kayla? You're welcome, Alma. Thank you for joining in. Thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Kayla. Kayla, I do see money coming in for you, but I feel like it looks like it's going to require hard work on your behalf. Okay? So, I also feel like you are going to have to be patient at this time. Continue to work or do whatever it is that you're doing to, like, push through because it will stabilize, but you have to continue to, to work, to put the work in. All right, Joyana. Nope, I did yours. I just did it, Kayla. <clears throat> Joyana. Um, my spirit team, please. General message. Okay. General messages for Joyana. General messages for Joyana. Yep, you can go right back to the um yours was actually right before Joyana's. I think it's um I don't know what time, Kayla. But I just I just did yours. So, Joyana, the message I have for you is are you going through some type of struggle regarding your um, finances? Okay, I feel like um, there's something coming in for you, but you, let me just clarify one card here. I see something coming your way because you've been, are you connected to someone? 
a Capricorn, you have someone blocking blocking your abundance or blocking your finances. Hi, blessed Cappy. How are you? You've been trying to save. I see Leo's energy here. Cancer Pisces energy is here. And Capricorn's energy is here. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. So, Joyana, are you in a relationship? Because I feel like if you are connected to someone, this person, I feel like this person is blocking, blocking like your finances or the energy, the flow of your finances. Is the relationship toxic? Or is your person at Capricorn, Leo, Cancer, or Pisces? Oh, okay, your person is a cancer like you. Okay. Um, there, this could this double card could also be here because it's representation of a restriction regarding your finances. And I feel like in order for you to get through this, you and the person that you are dealing with, um, I don't know if you live together or you live with this person, but you you would have to work together with this person in order, in order for things to stabilize regarding your finances. And if you do not live with this person, maybe if y'all move in together, your finances will become stabilized. Because I'm definitely getting something here about um, some type of financial hardship. And I see you like trying to figure out how to move forward or balance, balance things out here. Trying to gain some type of clarity. But I feel like the person that you are with, like you two could try to work together. Okay. Yeah. Because I feel like that will, that will balance things out for you. Yeah, I'm seeing like this person, you got the emperor at the bottom of the deck. Like it may be time for this person to like step up to the plate or take things to a higher level of commitment or something like that. That will definitely um, help you out. Okay. You're welcome. You didn't miss your turn, Dalmicia. I am on crystal right now. I have crystal, um, Hannah, and let me see who's after Hannah. Crystal, Hannah, Vanessa, Lakia. I got quite a few people. Wait a minute. Yeah, because that's okay. Yeah, Crystal and Hannah's questions are um, up next. Hey, Chasmin, how are you? I'm doing well. Okay. All right, let's see, Crystal. Hey, Crystal. Crystal.
Yeah, Crystal, I see a yes. I'm getting a yes here for you. Yeah. I feel like your answer may not come right away, but by the time you get finished um your book, you'll have all the answers you need. All right, let's see. Hannah. We have Hannah and then Vanessa. Hannah, Vanessa, and then Lakia. Okay, Hannah, Vanessa, and Lakia. Let's see what's coming in for Hannah and Love, Libra. Okay, so Hannah, you can have an Aries or a Scorpio coming your way. I see a mature person here, someone coming in ready to build with you or build you up, build, build up your inner being. Someone that will take their time and plan for the long haul. Could be someone you work with as well. I'm seeing a mature person, someone that's ready, ready for a relationship, someone that is disciplined in their actions. Okay. Could be someone that, um, with a beard. <laughs> but I'm definitely getting a mature, a mature energy, someone that's focused. Definitely not playing any games. Um, time frame. I do not have a time frame, but I did see a lot of pinnacles. So I will say it may take some time for this person to come in. All right, let's see, Vanessa. Vanessa. We have Vanessa and then Lakia. Jazz. And then Delmicia. Vanessa, Lakia, Jazz, and then Delmicia. In that order. I put the timestamp on, so if you are a regular, you can just go back to the time. All right, because your name should be next to the time. All right, so let's see, Vanessa. Let's come towards Vanessa in love. Vanessa, oh. All right, let me get this card off the floor. All right, Vanessa. Oh. Vanessa, you can have someone that just got out of a got out of a relationship coming your way. And I feel like this will kind of like take you by storm. Like this thing will happen fairly fast. But I do see a new beginning in love here. Or this could be you. That may have just gotten out of a relationship with someone that was deceptive. 
Darn it, these cards keep falling on the floor. <laughs> Gee whiz. Could be a Gemini or a Virgo. Someone you've manifested though. Oh yeah. I see a new passionate beginning here. Could be with a, a Pisces or um, a Sagittarius. There's definitely a new begin a new beginning in love coming in. Something where with someone that you can move forward with. So if you were feeling like stuck in love in the past, I feel like things like the will is turning in your favor now. All right, let's see. Lakia predictions for the last three weeks in April. Lakia. Lakia. Let's see. You're welcome, Lakia. Thank you for joining in. I was about to say, please don't fall on the floor. <laughs> like, I have a long way down. Mm. Lakia, I see you partnering up or working on something with someone. I feel like, um, I feel like I see some, someone coming in fairly quickly, okay? Could be someone you work with or you go to school with. I don't know if you're in school or you have children that are in school, but I'm seeing some type of institution here where you meet this person. Could be a religious organization. I don't know, but there's a building. And I feel like you're going to meet this person and I see things moving slow and it's going to cause you to like have your guard up and make you feel like you want to walk away because do you go to school? Are you in school for something or thinking about going to school or a part of a religious organization? Um, I feel like things are going to move slow and it's going to cause you to feel like you want to um, put your guard up or have your guard up or walk away from this person. But I feel like this person is someone that takes their time. Okay. Oh, you go to church. Okay. So I, I feel like this person is someone that takes their time. They move slow. They um, are definitely someone that will bring you clarity in your life balance um help you with a breakthrough and this this union is going to require you to have patience in order to make things be balanced between you two. Oh, you're thinking about going back to school okay yeah that's what i have for you so this is basically something coming in that will require you to have patience and um, to plan for the long haul. All right, I am going to move on to Jazz, and then we have Delmicia. Jazz, and then Delmicia. Jazz. All right, let's see. Jazz. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, Jazz, I do feel like you made the right decision. And I feel like you made the right decision because you are not certain of what's coming in for love. And I see a new, uh, like a huge opportunity, a huge new opportunity coming your way because you did decide to work on your career. And this is something that you don't see coming. This could be like a promotion, a new job, but it's definitely something you manifested because that's where your focus is right now. Oh, yeah, look at this. You got the Nine of Pentacles. So, yeah, I do feel like you made the right decision. And I feel like you're going to be in a space where you're able to gain financial stability to the point where you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. Like, you, you're not going to have to work as hard as you did in the past. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the best decision. Because, honestly, finances are a part of a relationship. So, like, if we're not financially stable, we can't expect, you know, to attract someone that's financially stable. All right, let's see. Dalmetia, we have Dalmetia. Um, Oshana, Osana is next. All right, let's see. Dalmetia. The person that's coming towards me, do they want something serious? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I guess today is the day that the cards are going to fall on the floor. I mean, that's just that's just what it is. <laughs> so Delmicia, I'm getting a maybe. And I feel like the maybe that I'm getting is pertaining to how you respond to the person that's coming in. It's like maybe. Like take your time to, um, to really like get to know the person. Because during that time, you're going to gain clarity. You're going to know whether this person is wanting something serious or if they're there to hurt you. So it's saying like, Spirit is saying be strong and look at things from um, a bird's eye view I'm getting and be patient so that you'll know if this person is just want to give to you or if they want to give to two. It's like patience will give you the clarity that you need because it's coming in as maybe. It's like not a definite yes or no. So I feel like, it, again, it, it depends on how you respond to the person. All right. Um, Oksana... I think that's how you pronounce the name. Do you see romance with a cancer man that I know? Or is he involved with someone else? You're welcome, Dalmetia. Osana. Osana. Let's see. This cancer man. Is he single or partnered up? 
Is this person single or partner up? And then we have star lover. Is this person single or partnered up? Yep. I feel like this person is partnered up. I see this person being partnered up and having a decision to make between two. All right. I'm going to move on to Star Lover. Hey, Star Lover. How are you? We got Star Lover and then Bless Cappy. General message for Star Lover. It doesn't look like a long-term relationship. I kind of got like someone that was kind of like, um, I don't want to, keeping their options open. It could have been some, it could be someone that they just have like passionate encounters with is what I'm getting. But I'm definitely pick I definitely picked up that there's another person in the picture. All right, star lover. General messages. Lord have mercy. The cards wanna fall on the floor today. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I saw the Ten of Pentacles, so I feel like um, <sighs> Star Lover, are you feeling some type of anxiety or something, or do you feel like um, like love is blocked right now, like there's a blockage in love? You don't know if you have a chance to be closer. Yeah, because in the card, I only saw him giving to, to one person. So, I would assume that's the other person. Because I did see distance there as well. Yeah, that's what I see for you, Star Lover. There's a blockage here. And I feel like... Your mind may be telling you that you're ready for new love. But your heart is, your heart chakra is um, blocked. So I feel like you may need to do some um, heart chakra cleansing to unblock your heart chakra. This could be like meditating, eating foods. Um, let me see. I think, is it red food? You said you feel it's your fault. Yeah, cause because I'm feeling like I'm getting like a defensive energy. Um, I would not try to date him because it looks like he he likes to keep his options open. And if you want something serious, I feel like he it may not be the right time. Not with him anyway. Like he his his timing is off been hurt a lot yeah i see a block you got the two of swords the five of wands this is you the hangman all of these at the bottom of the deck so um those are all blockages you're welcome thanks for joining in so i'm looking at this king of swords here i feel like you may need to talk to someone as well there's nothing wrong with therapy just to like unblock and to get you, get that, um, get you, you know, in a space where you can start attracting love again. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting for you, star lover.
Okay. You're welcome. Thank you for joining in. I wish I could give you a hug. Because I know how it feels. I've been there. Trust me. <laughs> All right, let's see. Bless Cappy. Bless Cappy. Come in. Feelings and thoughts. Let's see. Let's see. Is this person, I feel like this person is hiding their feelings. They could be holding back how they feel, holding back. I feel like this person enjoys being with you, like they like you, but they, they're not saying anything. Yeah, this person is stuck. And I don't know why I'm getting like, hey, Harlem. I don't know why I'm feeling like this person is um they could be holding back because of their finances or they're holding back do you and this person live at a distance is this like a long distance um union okay so i feel like this <laughs> I, i'm going to be perfectly blunt blunt with you Okay, I'm going to tell you exactly what I see here. This person is hiding the fact they do have emotions for you. They're holding back because of the distance. And this person is also wanting to have a passionate encounter with you. Okay. So, but because of the distance, I don't, I, I from what it looks like, they can't get to, to you like right away. So, yeah. They're holding back. So I don't know, like, if you and this person came into contact with each other in the past or what, but that's what I have. It's like they're, this person is thinking with their private parts. You're welcome. You wasn't notified, Divine Empress Airy. You might have to, um, if you didn't get the notification, you may have to unsubscribe and then re resubscribe and hit the notification bell again sometimes that's the, it happens i don't know why but thanks for letting me know that way i can um make an announcement or post something on the community section of the channel all right let's see uh, I think Chasmin is Chasmin next. Yep. So we have Chasmin, Mina. Hi, Mina. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this is your first time here, Jasmine and then Mina. Oh, you got a new position at work, Jasmine. Congratulations. Jasmine. I'm 
getting a yes. Yes, a strong yes. I feel like you made the right decision. Yep, you made the right decision. I feel like you're going to gain a lot of wisdom and, and you're going to um, attract more resources. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a yes. So I see you liking it. I see you enjoying this new role. And I see prosperity coming your way. All right, let's see. Mina. Let's see what is this person's feelings. Current feelings and intentions. You're welcome, Chasman. Thank you. And congratulations again on everything. Mina. Yes, star lover. <laughs> Is that the uh the heart chakra? Yes. All right, let's see. Mina. I feel like your person wants to give to this union. I do see an unexpected conversation about forward movement coming in. Um, but if your person been a little standoffers or given a bare minimum, it could be because they're waiting for the right time to take responsibility for their actions or they're waiting for the right time to work on this union with you. Yes, I just did your reading, Mina. Like, literally just did it right before you um, posted your question. So, you can just go back a little bit, and it should be right there. I don't have the exact time, though. All right, let's see. Um. Okay, so we have... Harlem, I'm on your question now. Why do my daughter's father enjoy making me feel? So we have Harlem and then Divine Empress Airy. <clears throat> okay, Crystal. Thank you for the donation as well. I appreciate it. Harlem. Harlem, I feel like your daughter's father does that to you because you, did you walk away from this person or cut him off? You distance yourself. He uses that as a defense mechanism. I definitely feel like he wants to reconnect or wants to get back in a relationship with you, but he may know that you're not going to take him back. Yeah. He knows you're not going to take him back. And that's what I have. He uses that as a defense mechanism because he's upset that you cut him off and you walked away from him. So he's got, he has an issue with his pride and ego. Yeah, that's sad.
when everything could have been could have worked out right if he is I don't know what he did, but if you walked away, obviously he did something. If he was doing the right thing, then it could have worked out. So why try to make you miserable now that you decided to walk away? All right, let's see. Divine Empress Aerie. Divine Empress Airy. You're welcome, Harlem. Thanks for joining in. Divine Empress Airy, I feel like you're going to be moving in the fall. I'm getting fall. All right, so I feel like that is the end of the readings. So thank you to everyone that joined in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, Crystal, for the donation. Congratulations to Chasman. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Um, thanks to everyone that pressed the thumbs up image. I am going to be logging off now. I want you all to be safe. I'm sending each and every one of you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for the love and support. Be blessed, and I will see you next time. Peace.